Let's uh, bring in Media and Marketing Manager for the Inneboss Arts Festival, Sandra Jacobs. A very good evening to you, Sandra. Thank you so much for your time. It sounds like a lot of excitement, colour, texture and activities. Talk to us about uh, the significance of this festival. Absolutely. Um, I think this year's festival is regaining the momentum that we lost during COVID. Uh, 2019 was a record attendance and I, it's a little bit early to say because this is the first day of the festival, but uh, figures are looking great. The anticipation is wonderful. We've had a wonderful turnout tonight. I'm really positive about what's going to happen until the end of the weekend. And the planning that comes with uh, putting together such a festival and the greater impact that you're hoping to have insofar as boosting the economy and of course uh, the uh, vendors who are part of it also of course in a show of support for small business. How important is that and what did it take to uh, put it all together? Well, it takes us a whole year to put this festival together and as much as it is a celebration of the arts, it's just, it is just as much a tourism and business event. Uh, the economic injection that the festival brings to the local economy is in the region of 80 to 100 million every year and um, I hope that this year will even top those figures. And um, apart from that, it also puts a stamp on the low felt and Wulanga province as a prime tourism destination. Mm, mm. As you talk about the celebration of the arts, what can people look forward to with the, 